Hi, hello, what's up? I'm Sam, dude. Um, currently 9 p.m. and I'm recording this. Why so late? I don't know. Because I didn't do anything this morning and uh, I need to record. So here we are. Playing AMC as Mercury. All I do is spit. spit this stuff. This stuff, this stuff. Do I go bees? You don't go bees. There's no reason for bees. I mean, it's not bad to go bees. The slow, perhaps, but I'm so immune to my two. There's no reason for beads. Sprint, potentially. Again, I'm so immune. Sprint does increase my damage, though. Maybe Sunder. Sunder could be good. 15% extra damage just immediately. Shell, obviously, is good as a defensive item. Bracer is obviously good. I'm going to go Bracer. The reason I'm going Bracer is because I'm not going to be building magic or... um. I could be building lifesteal this game, and I think it's just probably good for me to to be able to to have extra healing as no you know lifesteal items are actually gonna be purchased on the side of Sam Dude today. Watch me watch me just like transfer into full lifesteal meme. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Place my ward down just in case he invades. Don't think he will, but you never know, honestly. People are crazy. My headset is turned down. There we go. Alright, we punch and punch and punch. Well, eventually I can't punch anymore. Let me punch last time. And go to our second buff. Why are we going to do the second buff? Because we do not have clear. You might be thinking to yourself, Sam. If you do not have clear... Why don't you get to the wave faster? Because that's not how smite works. If I get to the wave faster, just because I do, I, I have less clear, you're like, get to the wave faster. That way you can maybe clear. It's exactly the opposite, actually. If I get to the wave slower, he can clear it and I can meet my wave at my tower, gaining me more overall experience of points. And that's exactly what I need here. Obviously, he's going to be abusive as fuck because it's, I'm an early game Mercury and he's an early game AMC with Bluestone. So, there's no, it's not even going to be really a competition. There we go. Alright. Big murder. We go back. We buy Golden Blade. So basically what happened there was I was able to toss him into my tower line and he took I think two shots of uh, of tower damage and then he shelled and I timed my ult perfectly to where it hits him right when his shell falls off which leaves him at one HP to where I can just get one singular auto attack and get the kill and if I may say so myself perfectly executed okay rude I don't care. See, you might think that you're you're being crazy good right now, pushing me under my tower. The thing is, if I gave a fuck about clearing the wave, I wouldn't have picked Mercury. I wouldn't have. I would just I would just play Poseidon if I cared about the wave. The thing is, the reason I picked Mercury is because I don't care. It's in fact because I care more about being able to punch you in the forehead than I do about being able to kill a minion wave. All right, obviously, like I said, this blue stone is going to hurt me a lot, but I don't care because what I'm going to do to counterattack his blue stone is I'm just going to back every 36 seconds. And you might, you might be thinking to yourself, Sam, if you're backing every 36 seconds, that means you're losing farm every 36 seconds. Um, actually false because my start with golden blade and boots and, you know, obviously being mercury and just a very high base movement speed i could go everywhere faster than he can even with his hives he's not high enough level for his hives to matter movement speed wise yet so i'm i'm much faster than him i'm not falling behind in farm why am i fighting right now because even if he ults me he doesn't kill me he has no shell he has no cc immunity with beads there's no way he can stop my combo attack with my ult and my three and because he can't stop me, I launched the full-blown fucking combo. The alt punch punch three punch one. That's exactly how you do it. That's just Mercury 101. 
And then, like I said, 36 seconds went by, so we back. I see his build going into Devos here. I don't really give a shit about the Devos. Again, I'm, I'm a combo god. You know, if I'm a sustained damage god where I'm like, oh god, I need to punch him 76 times to kill him, then I'm scared about the Devos and I need Toxic Blade or something, right? I don't care about the Toxic Blade because my whole combo, I'm going crit. Like, I'm, go I'm going Deathbringer and Wind, and Wind Demon. I don't care if you're life stealing 74 HP per auto when I'm punching you for 650 HP per auto. I just don't care. So, that's really, I mean, that's really it right now, right? So, right now, I have no ult. Do we fight? No. No. He has ult. He has shell. I don't want to fight. Do I care if I take damage while clearing the wave? No. Because it's almost been 36 seconds. What am I going to do, chat? Go ahead and answer the question. Yep, I'm backing. I'm pressing B. Fuck red buff. I don't care about that. I don't. Want to know why? I got this button. What is he going to do? Take red? I'd like to see him try. Let's see. And he's not. I have my ult now. He has shell. Oh, he is going for red. Okay, that's fine. You know? That's fine. See what you got. Thanks. Thanks for the red buff. Are you going to do ult me? Yeah. Yeah. With what? With what? Your unfinished devil gloves and your your attack speed boots? You're going to you're going to outpower me? No, you're not. Cuz I just stole the red buff. And I have power boots and golden blade. I have more power than you could ever imagine. And again, you know, what's it been? Um 36 seconds. Time to back. <clears throat> Going for the speed buff. I might be thinking, Sam, you're sounding really cocky and obnoxious right now. But I'm not. I'm just explaining what I'm doing. You guys want to see me explain what I'm doing, and I'm explaining everything that goes on in my head when I'm playing these games. I see him clearing the wave. I know it's about 10 seconds from the mid the the mid things touching here to getting to my tower, which means I have time to go clear my blue buff and still meet these boys here. No tower damage. No big deal. I'm looking at this and this right now. Thinking, okay. Try to get those timers down. I might not be able to, but I'm doing the best I can. I got a little bit of spare time. Why not punch a bunch of hives down? Make sure that it's just not easy for him to develop any kind of further late game plays. I know I'm very far ahead. I know he has no shelf. What does that mean? We tried to go for a kill. Unfortunately, I missed. And that's okay. I mean, a lot of people are always going to be like, Oh my God, Sam, I can't believe you missed that and dropped that kill. The thing is, you're a human. Right? You're not you're not a computer. You're not an AI program to be expert level, you know? You're going to miss. And no matter how good you are at the game, or bad for that matter, you're going to miss abilities, auto attacks, pathing, mini map targeting. You're gonna miss everything. Because you're a human being. And you're gonna have to get over it. And me dropping that kill because I missed my one, it's fine. Because you know what I got? I got the XP camp that I was eyeing before. I checked this. Okay, it's gone. Fine. Punch that on my way to my next XP camp. If he fights me, it's fine. I have stone cutting sword. And he doesn't even have stacked devils yet. Like, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I see him autoing. What do I care? I don't. We fight. Why did I turn around to break that hive? Because that hive gives him movement speed. Right? I want to keep all of my aggression. My whole life is aggression on this Mercury right now. When you're ahead, you have to learn how to push your lead. You see him clearing a buff and you're like, oh, I know that man doesn't have thorns. Or I, I know that man doesn't have shell. Or I know that man doesn't have ult. You push your lead. You run to him and you say, I don't care. I don't care if minions are getting killed to my tower. I don't care if I might potentially lose a buff or an XP camp for this. I'm going to fight you to pressure you out of this game. That's just how you have to win. That, that's what you have to do to win. Also, the reason I haven't gotten a second relic yet is because I'm waiting for him to get his second relic. I'm assuming it's going to be a thorns or a bracer. If it's a bracer, and I probably will go toxic blade just because of the fact that he'll have devils and bracer, and that's enough healing for me to warrant uh, toxic blade. But like I said, I'm, I'm more of a combo god, and um, bracer is an anti-combo relic, so... It would be good for him to get Bracer here and force me into itemizing it, uh, anti-heal. That being said, I don't think he's going to do that. Uh, one, because he messaged me he's bronze. And two, because 
he's going for defense right here which means his mind isn't going to be on defense for a relic he's not going to be building defense and be like oh god more 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 defense because if he does i just built titans banana win the game by default so if he if he does that you know we're we're, we're actually just chilling so I have a pretty good hunch that he's going to go into Thorns here, especially when he sees me going crit because Thorns is good against crit. It's not that good anymore because it got nerfed a bit, but it's still good. I mean, nobody's going to complain about it. Well, I mean, besides the people that are punching you when you have Thorns on, they're going to complain like, oh my God, Thorns does so much damage. It doesn't really. Thorns is kind of like a bitch, bitch, bitch made relic right now. All right, he got beads, which actually I think is the best thing he could have got. Um... And, but that being said because he got beads guess what i'm gonna get guess what i'm gonna get go ahead i'll, I'll wait horrific why horrific because he beads my alt three combo but you know what i do i horrific him and stay on his ass he has no attack speed uh in his build right now besides his boots you know and what, what's he gonna do what's he gonna do with it huh you can't get out of my horrific Thorns, sure, would have been good at, for, like, a face value fight. But Thorns is, like, why do I need it? You know what I mean? All right, I missed. That's fine. Get his beads. Beads over. Be horrific. Racer, I'm not scared of you. I didn't even land my... I didn't even land my horrific right, by the way. I literally messed up my horrific. I did it about maybe 0.2 seconds early. And because of that... He was in slow. He he could backpedal and and it was a closer fight than it should have been. That being said, I also didn't crit a single auto on him, I think. So that was kind of unlucky, but it's okay. We're still feeling good. I'm going to go into Deathbringer now, and then after Deathbringer, I'm going to go into Windy. But I'm not going to have any defense this game. Um, mainly because I, I really just want to punch hard. And also because I'm going to strategically outplay him, I think, based on my on my knowledge over the game and, and my positioning. As well as cooldown manipulation is really important here. And it's just all these things going on at once, right? That you have to focus on when you're playing this game. I see my blue buff is spawning soon. I want to make sure I'm there, but I also don't want to miss the XP for the minion wave. So I'm going to go and get the minion wave, run straight back over to my blue. I know he's probably doing his blue because our blue timers are on the same. Um, or our blue cooldowns are on the same timer. He's probably somewhere either backing or doing blue here. Or yeah, he probably, I think he did his blue and then backed in that order and got tier one defense. Now, here's um, something crazy. I'm going to run this way because I think he's going to think I'm doing Bull Demon. And I know he has no relics, right? I know he has no relics because we just fought. We both used all, all the relics we had. He has no CC immunity and he has no auto attack immunity with upgraded shell or anything. So I'm not scared of just trying to bait him into a fight there. What am I going to do? Instead of getting the tower, I'm going to run straight to Bull Demon. Now you might be like, Sam, don't Bull Demon the tower. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait. Right? Tower falls. And then I get Bull Demon to get the Phoenix down. Good stuff. Um, Now, right here, I'm going to do something a little weird. I'm going to upgrade my Horrific Emblem. I have Horrific Emblem uh, off cooldown right now. And I'm also going to stand back here because I want him to push the wave. I want him to go to clear the wave. He's going to be able to clear the wave because he has bluestone and his three is probably max level by the time he's level 16. So he's going to be able to clear the wave, but I'm just waiting to see him. If I can see him and alt him, he, he does have both his relics up, but I have upgraded horrific, which means he's doing 15% less damage. And I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I assume he's doing speed. I heard an auto attack there, I think. I'm, I'm okay with waiting. I am, genuinely. I'll wait until the 30 second mark. At the 30 second mark, I'm, I'm done waiting. For the 30 second mark of my bull demon, by the way. Alright. Well, I have a grouped up minion wave ready to, ready to push. That's the thing, right? He doesn't want to fight me? Fine. I'll group my minions and I'm getting ready to fight now. What are you going to do? Dodge me? That's fine. All right, beads is out. I upgrade horrific. I get maybe a little bit too low. That's fine. No big deal. I brace her. And I still have 10 seconds left on my bull demon. And I got minions in here for the easy Phoenix take. 
it's all about manipulation it's all about m managing your time managing their cooldowns managing your item stuff um managing you know whatever you got to manage he upgraded uh, his defense to get spectral armor completely that's fine dude 50 percent here's, here's the thing right and here's why i think spectral armor is shit unless you're in conquest reduces damage taken by crit by 60 percent what does this do increases this bitch by 30 percent you uh, building spectral gives you a 30 percent lower damage on crits only your normal hits are going to do the same amount and your crits are going to do 170 percent damage because crits are double what your auto would hit for by the way crits are 200 percent so with that being said you're gonna just hit instead of you know 830 i'll hit like 750 oh no how terrible it doesn't fucking matter <laughs> like spectral's not gonna do anything so this is by the way this i made a video a while ago saying this is why i think um crit and duel is like gonna be meta again uh, i'm ulting him he has no relics up by the way he absolutely has no idea what to do he can't, he can't do anything like he gen he genuinely can't he goes interval that's fine my idea is not to punch you quick it's to punch you hard and you bought you bought spectral to stop it you have all this defense in the world to stop it what's my next item gonna be tim you said you were going you were going crit so next item was obviously gonna be wind demon no i mentioned if he was gonna go double defense i'm gonna go titan's bane so that's what my next item would have been no defense and somehow we still win every fight punching an amc with shell berserker shield and devos how manipulation dude i'm telling you this is this is the kind of thing you have to think about when you're playing the game and when you're going through the game and when you're thinking about when to fight you're not you don't have to think i see all these people when i'm coaching or i used to coach i don't coach anymore all these people when i used to be coaching would be like i don't know when to fight here i don't know where to go here i don't know what to do here the thing you have to think about is do you have the advantage do you have the advantage and I'm not talking about level or build. You can be down on level. You could be 2k gold down. You could be three levels down. But he has no relics. His ult is off cooldown for five more seconds while you have your ult. That's five seconds to beat his ass, bro. That's one shell. That's an extra 300 HP you have. Or 400 HP you have over this fight. Your beads is off cooldown. He can't do that combo to you because he can't get you because you're CC immune. You know, you or in my case, in my case, my combo was based around if he had beads or not. If he did have beads, then I did my combo, let him beads it, waited the beads out, and then popped horrific. So he couldn't run away from me. His attack speed was slowed, and his damage dealt was was lowered. Right? So it's about it, it, don't don't blow your load on something that doesn't deserve it. Right? If he beads and I'm like, ah, fuck it, horrific, you know, just immediately. Then he's not slowed. And his attack speed's not slowed. It, it, because when he's CC immune, that shit doesn't apply. Right? So you have to think. You have to wait. When he pops his shell, I have options, right? My option is either run away and wait for the shell to go away after three seconds. Or, or punch through it if I think that I can just punch through the extra 400 HP he gets. And in my, in my case, in this game, with crit chance and bracer... And him not having anti-heal, I knew I could win the fight. You just have to take stock of what you have and take stock of what they have. Again, regardless of level disparity or gold disparity, take stock in this game and understand that it's not lost. Or if it is lost, obviously games can just be lost and you can just surrender, right? Like that's surrenders in the game for a reason. We play, we're playing a MOBA for God's sakes. Obviously people, there's every game, there's a winner and a loser. Somebody has to win. Somebody has to lose. And sometimes it's going to be you who loses. Just a, just a fact. Uh, another thing a lot of people would tell me. I know I'm talking a lot, but whatever I want to, I don't care. A lot of people, a lot of, uh, uh, another thing a lot of people would tell me when I was coaching them is, oh my God, I, you know, I lost this game and I'm done playing for two weeks. That's fine, dude. If, if that's, if that's your thing, if that's okay, and you just want to take a break from smite, that's fine. But if losing the game tilts you for two weeks off of the mode, then, then just play a different, play a different mode, play a different mode, or or maybe you just want to play the game casually, and you just want to go into like a casual conquest and pick set every game, you know, like you can do stuff like that. 
if in, in, in duel or really in any ranked mode you're like i said you're gonna lose and you have to be able to understand the stock difference in that match right like why did you lose and um this is something you'll learn after analyzing more and more games but it's basically just understanding like okay I was I was Uller, he was hell, but I lost so bad. Why? He was cleansing my two or he was cleansing my stun really well. And I and because of his cleanse on my stun, I would always miss my three. What's your solution to that? You three freehanded. You freehand three right before the before the fight starts. You probably apply beat stick with that three, so his heal during the fight is a little bit better. Or a, a little bit worse. You know, if you are if you already know he's gonna cleanse your axe. You could switch to Axe Stance and then press your 2. Your 2 makes the same motion as throwing your Axe, by the way. So you can fake him out into using his cleanse just by using your 2 in Uller Stance and then in Axe Stance. And then you can stun afterwards when he doesn't have it. You know, like, you have to kind of understand what the person is doing. you got to test the waters. You, you, no, Nobody's just like, ah, it doesn't matter what they do. I'm going to kill him. Right? That happens 20 minutes into the game when you're too far ahead for them to do anything. But in the beginning, in the beginning when you're testing the waters and you're seeing how they play, you're seeing their juke pattern, which by the way, most people juke left. I don't know why. Um, maybe because it's easier to keep your finger on the, the D button while still using abilities. I don't know what the whole situation is with that. Most people juke left. So if you want to hit your abilities more, just aim left a little bit. Anyways, that's beside the point. All I'm trying to say is take stock in what happened during the game. Take stock into what you're thinking about during the game. And don't just tunnel vision on one thing. Like, I, I wanted red buff, right? During the, there was this one fight when he was doing his, his side camp. And I was I just did my side camp. And the red buff spawned. And I was like, ah, could just get red buff here. But what do I know? I know he has no relics. And I know I have an alt. And I see him. I see him punching those punching those minions. So instead of being like, I'll just lazily farm and, and level up and try to push my lead, I killed him and then took the red buff and then farmed more. So you just got to see what you can do and do it. Okay? I love you. Peace.